guys welcome to my channel I'm up here at Walmart and check out the bread first uh, the prices of the great value brand is a dollar 88 and the wheat dollar 78 and over here the honey wheat I'm not sure no tag on it but you can look over here and these whole shelves are empty on bread three rows so, not a whole lot of bread. We do have some of the soft and good giant, some butter milk here, but yeah, bread is looking pretty low today. And the buns are even looking kind of low as well. Come over here and check the peanut butter out. <laughs> and it is now $5.98 for the four pound, 9.3 cents an ounce. They have these over here for $3.98, 10 cents an ounce. And those are two pounders. But if you want two pounds of chip, you're gonna pay six seventy-eight. Seventeen cents an ounce, guys. So yeah. How well do you like your chip? Oh, that's the question, right? Or can you buy something that is store brand to save money? Let me know in the comments. Over here the ketchup, a dollar seventy-eight for the great value brand. 4.7 cents an ounce. This one over here is $1.94, 6.1 cents an ounce, and that is for 32 ounces. But if you want name brand, Heinz is $3.48, 17.4 cents an ounce for the Heinz, so you are definitely going to be paying more. And $4.48, 11.8 cents an ounce for this bigger jug which is that's two pounds six ounces there it looks like so if you're trying to save money you know sometimes you have to buy the store brands it's good to see the Folgers come down some now twelve ninety six for the large two pound three ounces at thirty eight point five cents an ounce but it has come down some or you can get these down here for $9.97 Point five cents an ounce. Those are one pounds, nine ounces. It looks like the Great Value brand is eight seventy three, which is twenty eight point six cents an ounce. And over here to the Maxwell House, nine ninety six at thirty eight point six cents an ounce. And the Great Value brand green beans are still fifty cents a can. That's best time to grab those vegetables 50 cents a can for the corn and let's see about the peas peas though it looks like are 58 cents a can a little bit more but way less money than the libbies those are 88 cents a can on sale which is six cents an ounce so you know, if we're going to make it in this economy, we may have to just buy store brands and leave it at that. Over here to the north's uh, sides for the rice, they are $1.12. They've come down to $1.12, 20.4 cents an ounce. So that's good, you know. Good time to grab those Nors. Got a few empty spots there on them, but hey, if you can get Nors for $1.12, that's better than it has been. And pasta is always a good buy at 98 cents for 12 ounces of the Bowie's. But if you get the elbow, that's actually a pound for 98 cents. And I believe the penny, yep, penny is also a pound. So, you know, 98 cents is a pretty good buy compared to uh, the more expensive brands, you know, that you can get. Um, so, you know. Hopefully it will stay at a reasonable price. Oils are looking pretty good today. Three sixty-four for the forty-eight ounce, seven point six cents an ounce for that one, and eight fifty-eight, six point seven cents an ounce for the gallon of it of the Great Value brand. And it looks like canola is a little bit more at nine twelve, seven point one cents an ounce. And Crisco, 5.68, 14.2 cents an ounce. So 
definitely, definitely a difference in price. And we have a whole pallet of sugar here, but let's see what the price is. They have it so you can't see it, because they have it stacked up too high. So I'm gonna help them out. I'll help the customers out so they can know how much they're paying for it. Two forty-eight now for four pounds of Great Valley sugar. Same thing over here. We have a full pallet of the sugar in the ten pounds, but they're covering up the price. And I want to know how much it is. So bear with me, and I will get to it. It's down here somewhere. Six forty-seven. Do you see it? Okay. Six forty-seven for the sugar. And flour is looking pretty well stocked up today at two twenty-four for five pounds. Two point eight cents. An ounce of that, and uh, three ninety-eight for the ten pounds. That's two point five cents an ounce. Gold medal six forty-three, four point one cents an ounce. And here is the five pounds of gold medal, three eighty-three, four point eight cents an ounce. So, but we are pretty well stocked here on the flour. And we're gonna come down here and see about the oatmeal. If there's anything you would like me to check on in particular, hey, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to see what the prices are. So, oatmeal is now $3.98 for the bigger, taller one and $2.48 for the smaller ones. Great value. $5.68 for Quaker Oats, 13.6 cents an ounce. Come over here to the water, $3.48 now for the 24 pack. Uh, great value. Right here we have stuck up pretty well. A few of the gallons of distilled are missing it there. Uh, spring water is a dollar twenty-two a gallon. Um, and over here to the large what's in there? 48, 30, 40, 40 pack. Uh, I'm looking for a price. And I don't see a price. But either way, try to get water if you can because you don't want to be like the people Try to get water, you know, now they have uh, chemical spills over there in Pennsylvania, it's just everywhere, so make sure you have water. And milk, oh boy, what happened? Did the cow quit milking? We virtually have no milk. I mean, what, you, what I'm showing you is what there is, so, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the milk, but that don't look good. Oops, I had my phone laying down. Butter has gone down somewhat, so I'm 58 now. For the two pounds of uh, Great Value Butter, 978 for the Lando Lakes, 498 per pound for the Lando Lakes, two back, 978. 398 a pound for the Great Value. So, it seems to maybe have come down a little, but not a whole lot. Still a lot of money for butter. I mean, the milk, you know, the cows couldn't quit giving milk. We have plenty of cheese. What is going on with that milk? That is the worst I have seen it in the last three years. I, I yeah, I'm still wondering what is up with the milk. Uh, $3.98 for the sharp cheddar, great value brand. $2.22 for the smaller ones here, it looks like, uh, which are 12 ounces. So. But yeah, looks okay on the cheese, but boy, that milk. Let's check out the tuna fish. While I let that milk kind of absorb here, what's going on with it. Uh, it looks like we have chicken of the sea, tuna for nine seventy eight for 10 5 ounce cans. Uh, and three thirty two for 4 of the Great Value Chunk Like Tuna. Let's go over here and see what the other meat, canned meat, is looking like. They have the uh, Starkiss tuna creations for a dollar a pack. I mean, you don't get a whole lot of tuna with that, but if you're a single person, you know, it might work out for you a little better. You get 
pretty much one sandwich out of those. Down here, $9.98 for the chug light chicken breast. Looks like four pack there. $3.98 though for the Swansons. Uh, so, yeah, quite a bit of a difference there. $9.98 for the Keystone and $3.74 for the roast beef. So, $9.22 for the pork. Keystone, $8.52 for the chicken. So that seems to be staying at about the same price. Two pack of Spam, $6.67, or you can buy the Great Value brand for $2.14. So that's $2.85 cents, or $27.8 cents. So up to you what you want to get. Over here to the rice and beans. Rice and beans, uh, you know, still, in my opinion, pretty reasonable price. Uh, for what, how much it makes, you know, because you can make rice and beans stretch out so far. Uh, so, if you say you want some small red beans, $1.38 for a pound of them. Uh, some navy beans, those are my favorite. Add some ham, hocks to those, or bacon. Oh, so delicious. A dollar thirty-six. That's one point three six an ounce. So always a great choice. A dollar sixty-two for the two-pound bag of great value rice. Or we have this over here, the Ma Mahatma. <laughs> I probably tore that up. Two seventy-two a bag for eight point five cents. Uh, so you know, a lot of options on the rice. I mean, depending on what kind of rice you do like, jasmine rice or you know. But uh, a lot of options on the rice. That is why it's good reason to stock up on your instant non-fat milk. You know, in case the stores don't have the, any milk on their shelves, at least you have something to turn to. You know, there's uh, the Great Belly brand, 343 uh, there. You get three uh, pouches in it, it looks like, or you know, so many options you can choose from. Here's some carnation, uh, but lots of options. Canned milk even is better than nothing, so you might consider on sucking up on some of these items like this right here. So yeah, guys, um, we're still seeing shortages and some things have come down, other things have gone up, so, uh, just keep doing the best you can, stock up on what you can, and have it put back for a hard time because you never know if we're going to see hard times. I mean, if we're going through hard times now, you know, it's unreal the price of food in the grocery store and trying to make it stretch, you know, you just do the best you can and add extra what you can to your pantry shelf and, you know, We'll do the best we can. So, I mean, I gotta get off of here. Until next time, guys. Do the God bless. Hope you all have a great and blessed day. Bye.